representing Invicta Boxing Gym is Kyle Hotsala. Referee pulls him into the centre of the ring to give him the final instructions before he lets him unleash all hell. I imagine this one's going to catch light straight away. You Definitely. Carl Hudson fighting out of Invicta Boxing Club in the red corner. And oh. Exactly like we said. And you're not wrong. I thought both lads looked well up for it beforehand, but uh, yet they've come out at a furious pace. One thing we can say for sure, Martin, at this pace, this fight doesn't go three rounds. <laughs> so before the fight kicked off, I made a comment, didn't I, about the difference in the body styles of these two. So Cole Hudson, he looks like a fully grown man. He's got like, he looks like he's got his man strength, whereas Louis Williams still looks like a boy, boy in comparison. Yeah. He's the one that drew first blood. He did, yeah. He's, he's the one that landed shot. and had a Hudson stumbling. So don't judge a book by its cover, as Do they say, Mark. Exactly that, yeah. I should know better by now. <laughs> Ooh, great body Both shot. Both these there. lads are throwing great shots. This is a cracking fight. Yeah, this is fantastic work from Williams. Very hard to score as well. I think Williams is just landing the cleaner shots for me. Hudson's doing a, a great job keep coming forward. He's walking on to him a bit here. Yeah, yeah but Williams is he's throwing those simple straight shots that are landing. This is a fantastic fight. It's really hard to say, but I'm just sitting here enjoying the spectacle. Enjoy, yeah. Very, very exciting opening round. Very exciting. Um, and again, quite difficult to score. I'm going to go with Williams in that one, with Williams. me. Yeah. Had a, a Hudson coming back a bit at the end there, but uh, yeah, I think the early work that Williams done. I think that's fair. Yeah, I agree. I don't think there was enough from Hudson, although I do think that the end of the round fared better for him. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens in this round because perhaps that slower pace will suit Hudson. Yes.
Second round, here we go, and uh, let's see if this one takes any longer to get started. And no, it definitely doesn't. No. And again, the same thing, this high pace is suiting Williams because those looping shots and those simple shots are the ones that are landing. Yes. Yeah, Hudson trying to be the aggressor there. He's just got to actually uh, pin him down. I think. Uh, that's where he's struggling. The Williams has got this really good knack of being able to throw a shot longer than it looks. So yeah. when he seems out of range, he's actually in range. Hudson getting through with some good shots there. Yeah, he had him pinned up against the ropes and, and, and let a few body shots go as well, but the shots that Williams come back with were fantastic. That's better there from Hudson. Like, as we said, it does. It does suit him better when the round slows down a bit. I think Williams is struggling with the pace a bit here. With just a standing eight can there, he does look quite hurt. Yeah, Nose he's is bleeding. Um, I think Hudson's got to jump on him because he can't let him allow that. Yeah. Can't allow him to have that rest in between the rounds. He cannot let him off here now. But Williams still throwing some Williams, great shots back. This is unbelievable yes. work rate. How do you score that one? Well, I think I, I'm going to go with Hudson that round. Absolutely cracking round again. It'd be interesting to see how much these have got left for the third round. Let me give you a bit of advice. If you're walking down a dark alley and at the end of it you see one of these fellas, turn around and walk the other way because you yeah. do not want to get a scrap near either of these. <laughs> no, definitely not, no. I imagine the corner teams are, are saying very different things. I think, for me, Hudson needs to come out swinging. He needs to come out and throw the shots. He needs to try and force this stoppage. Yeah, push Even him though back. he got the eight count, he did not have that round all his own way. No. Williams, no. however, needs to see the final bell. He needs to box move and land his shots as he comes, yeah. It... Hudson straight out as the aggressor. And what a great bit of movement as well. Slipped, landed his shots off the back of that slip. Great shot there. Oh, Williams, his, Williams' legs have gone there. Both lads have, are landing some cracking shots. And what great shots they're putting together as well. Yes. These are not shots that you would see off of a, someone who's inexperienced. Yeah. Just the relentless pressure and the sheer pace of that fight. Uh, just got to Williams at the end there. Yeah, Williams really unlucky there. He come up again. When I made the comment about having that man strength, I mean, yeah. maybe it was just a little bit of extra, extra strength there from Hudson. It was the telling factor in that fight. Yeah. Yeah.
Let's give a round of applause to Louis there as well. What a fight.